show you complete metamorphosis and we'll start with what's called a silkworm and these silkworms are food for the bearded dragon that you just saw alright let's begin this right here is a juvenile silkworm that right there is about a week old and he's about an inch long they're very high in calcium and nutrients so they're a great treat for him as you can see here every day he'll poop three to five times that's quite a lot and it's a pain to clean up but it's worth it like I said earlier he is only about a week old they live for 30 days and then they start to cocoon that's one of the stages in complete metamorphosis so let's go to a 25 day old worm I have a 25 day old worm he will start cocooning probably in the next several days as you can see in his little bin here there's lots of silk around the edges right here that's why they are called silkworms they spin silk. If you can see right here, his skin is starting to get a yellowish tint. That skin is extremely tight. He is done growing, and his head will swell up very soon. Right there, those black dots are his silk glands. Those glands create the silk. Once he's ready to spin his cocoon, that will grow probably about a centimeter up and he, his entire body will fill with silk. That's when he starts to spit out the silk and form a cocoon. As you can see here, we have a 30 day old worm. Now, like this guy will, he will very soon start a cocoon. Now this cocoon is only a few hours old and as you can see, they work fast. If you look very closely, you can see the little black dot, which would be his head, moving around inside. And what he is doing is he's eating the silk and he's spitting it back out and making it stronger. And he will continue to do this and continue to do this for three days straight until he gets a perfectly white, perfectly oval shaped cocoon. Now for the third stage of life. We've already covered the juvenile worm. the subadult worm. Now we're going to study the cocoon. The cocoon or crystallis is a very important stage of life. This is where their main metamorphosis takes place. As you can see here, we have what I was talking about earlier, a perfectly formed, perfectly white, perfectly oval shaped cocoon. Inside here, the same worm you saw over here is cocooning. He is becoming a moth. Not a butterfly, they become moths. Now the reason I have paper towels here is because the day they emerge, they only emerge at dawn, which is very special. When they emerge, they're going to throw up a red, kind of like a bloody liquid. And the reason why is because they can only live for a week and they don't eat and they don't go to the bathroom in this stage so if there's liquid in their body it's gonna form a bacterial problem so they just get rid of it all and the paper towel is there to collect that disgusting liquid okay as we talked about the juveniles before here they are here's a bunch of them there's about fifty of them maybe thirty in there they're still kind of small and they're starting to spin silk so you can see I can pick one up and they'll all come with it. Here's another guy. Oh. Here's another guy. Exact same worm, same species. Okay. Now what these guys are, at this stage of life, this is where they eat the most food. And they're kind of picky because they're not like other worms that just eat dried up leaves or they just eat the dirt or other animals that are rotting in the forest. These guys live on what's called a mulberry tree in the wild. But there's very, very few of these in the As wild. As you can see here, we have what's called mulberry food. 
Now these are the leaves of the mulberry tree, crushed up, grinded up, microwaved to make sure that it's cooked, and put in the refrigerator. Now each worm will actually eat almost their entire body weight in food, and the food will last about a day and a half before it dries out. So let me just put a little more on. All right, that'll last them for probably a day. And you can see they're already moving to 